Welcome to Mondays with Mark. I'm Mark, and this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Trying to get the Oscar hairs off of me. Of course I'm wearing black today, right? <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. Ah, oh, it is really nice to see you today, let me tell you. <laughs> Life has been a bit stressful, but you know what? We'll talk a little bit about that later. Ah, oh, we have a nice show tonight. It wasn't the show that I planned to do, actually. <laughs> but we, uh, we do have a nice show tonight. Of course, uh, we're gonna get caught up on some chit-chat. And then I have a garden update for you. Uh, let you see how everything's, uh, coming along out there. And, uh, we even have a little DM. DIY to do that's pretty, pretty cool. Ooh, I'm excited about it. So, how the heck are you anyway? Oh, I hope, uh, I hope you're happy and well and safe and I hope you had a nice weekend and some, uh, pretty groovy plans for the upcoming week, you know? Um, I have a visitor down here. It's Oscar, so I'm not, I'm going to ignore him. I hope maybe he'll come up and say hello. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that. He hasn't gotten that far yet, but maybe today. You never, never know. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, oh, we're doing okay here. You know, um, yeah, life has been pretty stressful recently, I'll tell you. And um, I don't want to get too much into it um, because, especially here on Mondays with Mark, I like it to be like, I don't know, like, since the beginning, I wanted it to be kind of like, I don't know, no matter what's going on in in life or maybe maybe some issues going on or some things that might be on your mind or some things that you're worried about. I kind of wanted Mondays with Mark to be like a little break from that, if even just for, you know, a half hour or so, you know. So I do try to keep things upbeat and a little bit positive here, you know. So uh, I don't want to talk about stress. I think we'll just leave it at that. Life has been stressful lately. <laughs> now, you know, work and personal stuff and and uh, physical stuff. I was sick over the weekend. Um, uh, it started coming on Friday and then Saturday kind of, you know, wasn't all that fun. <laughs> and then I started feeling a little bit better yesterday and I'm almost back to normal today. I'm not sure if it was like a, maybe a flare or something. Um, it wasn't like a cold or a flu. I just, I just felt awful, you know, all over. Um, but uh, I do have to remember that, um, you know, stress definitely can trigger uh, a flare. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I tend to be a kind of that, that person that like wants to keep going and going and going and going and going. And I have to always remind myself that I need to pace myself. And it's been the hardest thing to learn um, when dealing with all of this, you know. But uh, so maybe I was just a little bit run down. I don't know. But uh, I'm almost back to normal. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, gosh. And uh, but you know what? I was thinking I'm still working on a real talk video. Um, and I think we'll do that maybe later in the week. Um, you know, real talks are uh tend to be a little like the subjects tend to be uh, like i don't know a little more serious um like we'll get into the different types of stresses and stuff that might be bothering us at the time um and i think they're good i i you know i'm uncomfortable doing them i feel all like mm -mm, i don't know because they are so personal you know um but i think they're good because um like if even you know, one or two people can relate to what's happening. I think it's really, really worth it. You know, one of the things that I deal with, um, you know, a lot of the time is that feeling of being like, you know, alone or unique in with, uh, with what I'm going through. And it's not the case, you know, and, um, it, it, it's just good to be reminded that, uh, you know, uh, whatever we're going through, chances are somebody else is going through it, right? And perhaps somebody else already went through it and may have some tips and tricks how to get to the other side of it, you know? We don't always have the answers, you know, we always may not know what to do about things, but as long as we share and talk about it and give each other support, we have a really good chance of of getting through it right you know so i think i'll you know we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do a real talk uh pretty soon there so but uh other than that things are okay things are going really really good um and uh, uh work was uh, uh interesting today i'll say it's been very very busy at work and uh but i'm very grateful to have a job and i i i still have a job that i don't dread going into every day so all is well there definitely you know 
And uh, so tonight I had planned on uh, doing a gardening video. You know, I mean, you know, it is the season, right? I know we've done gardening you know, several weeks in a row, um, uh, outside of last week. And, um, well, since we're talking about last week, thank you so much for, for everyone who showed up for, uh, the live stream on the, uh, last Mondays with Mark. I had such a good time. Oh, it was so good. We did a little, little DIY and we, we chit chatted in real time. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was the first, uh, Mondays with Mark live stream and it was great. So thank you all who, uh, who came. Uh, I'm, been getting a lot of questions. Are you going to do it again? Uh, you know, I think we will. I think we'll, we'll make it like put it into the regular rotation. You know, I don't know how often, maybe once a month or once every other month or something like that. And we don't always have to do a DIY. We can just sit and chat or maybe we'll go into the kitchen and do a real time recipe or something. So, uh, so we're definitely going to do, uh, more live streams, but, um, yeah, I wanted to do a gardening video. We were going to put the vegetable garden in and, uh, I, I wasn't feeling well over over the weekend so I couldn't do it on Saturday and then we got some bad weather and in fact it's still raining now but I was we had a little break in the rain right when I got home from work so it was a perfect opportunity to do a little garden update so I he, oh, almost y'all he almost came up he's he, he's he's a little shy one there <laughs> we'll get him he's he's gonna We'll get them to come up. We will. So, um, so why don't we go outside and I'll show you how the garden's doing. So, all of our plants are in and everything is seeded as well. And some of those seeds are already sprouting. Pretty happy with how things are coming along. Those are our straw flowers there, right next to our peppermint zinnias. And this is our moss rose down there. And next to that are blanket flowers. And uh, back there are the rain lilies and they haven't come up yet, so. And our patchouli plant, he survived. Look at all the new growth. I'm so happy I saved him. He's going to be, he's going to look real nice. And uh, we have some wildflowers that sprouted, so they should be growing our icicle plant. And those are bulbs from the kitchen onions. Now they'll bloom, so they'll look pretty cool. <laughs> and I put a little pathway into our herb garden. You know, our spiral herb garden we did. Ah, it looks pretty good, don't you think? And there is a dahlia there. Can't wait to see him grow. And then we have some carpet of snow every so often to uh, cover in all the uh, blank spaces. And Steven snapdragons. Okay, ampersands, that's what he calls them. <laughs> and these are fan flowers. Oh, they look so cool. I can't wait to see when he fills all out and kind of, you know, swoops down the edge of the cauldron there. It's gonna look really, really nice. So, that's the front garden, and uh, we have all of our, oh, there's the birdhouse. What a lovely gift that was. Be adding some more, uh, you know, sculptures and stuff, but um, pretty much everything is in and done. And uh, actually on the porch, our porch plants are doing well too. There's our stacked uh, candle planter. Looks really nice. <laughs> and all oh, y'all are hanging black baskets are ready to be hung. We have growth. These are our peas. And over here, uh, we have our spinach. Can't wait to hang them up. <laughs> and oh, our bat flower. So I repotted him and gave him all new soil. So hopefully this year he'll grow to be a nice, healthy plant. Fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and then over the edge here, our celery. Well, they're not doing too well. They just don't get enough sun. But they will once we put in our vegetable garden uh, around the side here. And, yep, I did get them, y'all. I got our kiddie pools for our vegetable garden. That'll be a fun little project to do. And I'm planning to have that done this week. So we'll be moving all the vegetables to our uh, pool garden and we're gonna put them right here. 
And I can't forget our little peanut plants, right? I've been keeping him inside, but he's going to be moving outside uh, probably this week. And uh, once this little one gets a little bit taller here, uh, I'll mound up some more soil and bring that soil to the top of the planter. Um, but look, he's coming along real nice. Ooh, can't wait to see him grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I, you know what? I, I, I'm really excited to see it grow now, you know? Um, like I think I said in, in the update there that I had put the carpet of snow plant, uh, Elysiums, I think they're called, and they're white and purple. Uh, they're like ground covers, you know? And I planted them in the last garden. You'll probably, if you've been watching, you'll probably remember. I used those to like fill in all the gaps and cover the ground, you know? Um, where I guess there would be grass growing, you know? So, um, like once everything starts growing and filling in, I think it's gonna look really cool. Cool, I do. Um, I have a few more rocks to put in and maybe some more uh, garden sculptures and stuff, but um, but I think we're pretty good. And of course we'll be doing, I'll, you know, update you all the time on how things are growing, you know. And uh, I have uh, the vegetable garden ready to go in and I have the plants. Some of them I grew from seeds, some of them got from the nursery. And I wanted to show you this. I have one more plant for the front and it's, uh, and it's the only one that survived. I planted five of these. And he's the only one that survived. And this is uh, Amar Amarith, Amarith, I, I can't remember how to pronounce it, Amarith. I, anyway, this is what he'll look like when he grows. It has like the, you know, the little, the seeds that hang down. They're really, really cool looking. And I thought uh, they grow pretty big. So I thought we'd put them in a big planter, you know, as you're walking up the steps to the apartment. So I think that would be nice. And uh, he's called Love Lies Bleeding. So those will be all red. So it'll be pretty cool. So anyway, so I was thinking in place of doing a little garden DIY, why don't we do a little crafting DIY? I've been getting some uh, requests. Hey, you, you know, can we do something for the 4th of July? Yeah, I know. We typically don't, and I don't know why. And I just happen to need a wreath for my door. And you know me. I don't really care for a wreath. Well, you know what? I'll tell you about it when we make this thing, okay? So come on. Let's go make something. Oh, yes, yeah, so we have a fun project to do all for the 4th of July. And of course, this is by request. I'm surprised I got quite a few requests this year to do something for the 4th of July. And I just happen to need some type of decoration for my door, um, both here at the apartment and in my office, too. So, yep, we're going to be making a wreath. But you know me, I don't like those traditional kind of reads. I like reads that are, well, a little bit unique. I don't know. And I think I came up with a nice one. We'll see what you think. Now, this project is so awesome because for our friends who may not be here in the United States, um, you can easily switch this project up to match your Independence Day or just for summer alone just by changing the color of our materials, okay? So, you know what? Why don't we get started, shall we? Here are the materials you need. First off, we need a metal star-shaped wreath frame. And then over here, we have red and white faux carnations. And I got two bunches of each color. And then you'll need some duct tape or masking tape and our nifty difty glue gun. And this over here, well, these are patriotic accessories like beads and flags. And we'll talk a little more about that later. Oh, and did I say you can get all of these materials right at the Dollar Tree? So the first thing we do is cover the entire star wreath with our duct tape. Now there's no wrong way to do this. It doesn't have to be neat at all. In fact, you're not even going to see it uh, in the finished product. So it definitely does not have to be neat at all. The only thing I did, well, semi-neat, was the back of it. Uh, by covering it with a few strips of our tape. And then I made a hanger by snipping off, oh, about six inches or so from a blue beaded necklace. And then I attached it to the tip of one of the star there um, with some small gauge wire or floral wire, just like that. 
All right. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. Isn't it beautiful? We're gonna go hang this up right now. Just kidding, y'all, just kidding. Of course, there's more to it. <laughs> Next, we're gonna grab all of our flowers, and I went with red and white carnations here, and we're just going to remove the flowers from the stems, because we're only using the flowers. Yep, all of them. We gotta remove all of them from the stems. I told you, wasn't that fun? <laughs> oh gosh, now I have these everywhere all over the place. Okay, okay, so now using our glue gun, we attach our flowers right to our tape covered frame. Alright, okay, and there she is all covered up. <laughs> Okay, it brings us so. to our blue balls. Now, oh my gosh, our glue glitter balls. I don't know if that makes it better or not, I don't know, but anyway. So we're gonna take these off like we did the carnations because we're just gonna be using the, um, the decorative balls as what we're gonna be using, okay? Right, and so I just put them just every so often, you know, really adds the, uh, Adds that blue we need, so now we have red, white, and blue. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so now the last step here, we're just gonna add some, some, uh, I don't know, some accessories. Now, uh, especially in the center, we need something in the center there. So out of all of that stuff I showed you at the beginning, and I had like these little patriotic plastic little rings, um, and we had this this clapper. I thought we could use the star or maybe the beads. These little food picks, they're really neat looking. I don't know if I have one open. They, yeah, I do. They look like um, fireworks. Aren't they cool? These are at the dollar store. I think they're really cool. Um, but out of all of that, I decided to go with the American flags. Gotta have an American flag, right? And what I'm do uh, is that? I'm just gonna kind of tack this on to our cardstock, and then I'm gonna attach it to the back of our um, back of our wreath with our glue gun. Um, and uh, since I have two flags and the opening is a little bit bigger than the size of the flag, I'm going to piece another piece like up top here and at the bottom here so that we have no openings in, in the window there, okay? Well, here, I'll do it and then I'll show you and make it a, maybe it'll make a little more sense there, okay? Okay. <laughs> On. Okay, just like that. You see that there? Uh -huh. And then, you know, that's what I meant about like, mm, I mean, if you peel these away, see that's where the other stripes are on top there. Um, just because it was, I didn't want it to be open and, you know, see through, but actually the flowers kind of, now yeah, they cover it anyway. So, but, so there, now we have our American flag on there. And really, that's all there is to it. The only thing I'm going to do now is kind of take a look at her, you know, clean her up again and poof up the flowers a little bit. And sometimes they move around and um, you can use scissors to trim them down if they're too poofy. Um, maybe add some more flowers if you need it. And if you have any gaps in there, you know, like you can always like, take one of our blue balls off, you know, clip them off and move them around. Like, see, there's a little space down here. Um, I can just put another little blue ball there to kind of cover that up a little bit, you know? <laughs> but that's really all there is to it. It's kind of nice. I like how it turned out. I do. Maybe I'm going to put this on my office door or maybe the one out front. I don't know. But anyway, a nice little, just a simple little project for the 4th of July. And I hope you enjoyed it.
<laughs> I think he turned out okay, you know. And you know what? The whole thing cost less than ten bucks. Like it was, uh, it was nine dollars for the the supplies that I got for this. And I, I mean, I already had the hot glue gun, and I already had those like accessories and stuff. But um, I, I spent nine bucks. So you know what? For like ten bucks and an evening of crafting, you can't go wrong, right? Turned out pretty cool. Little unique, little different. And like I said, you can switch it up to to make it look like how you want to make it look like too. If you don't celebrate for of July. Um, you could change the colors of the flower, change the, the flowers, you know, whatever you want to do. I think it would look really nice with um, some battery operated lights in there. Hmm, maybe I'll add them. I don't know. But I think I'm going to hang them up at work. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that project. And if you give it a try, definitely, definitely send us a picture. I'm going to be sharing uh, viewer pictures next week um, on Mondays with Mark. Okay, so. Um, so we'll just, you know, we'll just, we'll do that, you know, coming up, go, no, he won't, he just won't, he won't, he, won't. he, he just, will get, he'll, he will, I'm sure he will eventually, I'm surprised Bandit isn't in here, because he's the one that's the big ham, right, and he, I haven't seen him this evening, but Oscar spends a lot of time in this room, he loves this room, we had that big plush, um, carpet down in this room here and he just loves it. he rolls all over it but boy he, he just won't be on camera let me tell you i gotta catch him candidly and stuff you know so you know what before i say goodbye tonight i just happen to have another positive moment for you <laughs> i like these little positive moments and these are just things that um stick out to me during the week i get a lot of positive emails um like email subscriptions you know with positive quotes and stuff that i get every day and i try to start my day out with something positive and this one stuck out to me just today and I knew I had to share it and it's about squirrels y'all and I'll tell you what I usually don't have anything nice to say about a squirrel but here check this one out now this was actually a Twitter post and it was posted by Sarah B and here's uh, what she wrote this flying squirrel faked his own death and created a whole crime scene for attention. I think I'm in love. <laughs> I, it just brought a smile to my face and I found myself like all day long going back and watching it over again and it just definitely gave me a chuckle. I, I think it's really cool. And you know, like I said, finally something nice to say about a squirrel. I usually don't have anything nice to say about squirrels. Oh my gosh. So anyway, that was just a little positive moment for you. I hope you got a chuckle out of that. But yeah, the squirrels have been relentless, y'all. I don't know. It's worse here than anywhere that I've lived. Back at the old, old apartment, we dealt with them there. You probably remember if you've been watching. Um, and uh, they just, they are not afraid of, of people. They come right up on the porch. They've been digging everywhere. Um, so I don't know. When we go ahead and do the vegetable garden this week, and we are going to make a video out of it, um, some people had wanted to see how to do a vegetable garden in the kitty bowl. So we're going to do that this week. Um, I got chicken wire tall chicken wire to put all around the outside of it and if I have to I'll get netting to put on top of it too to keep those little buggers out because they will they they're, they're just doing a lot of damage this year I don't know so I don't know everything I've tried hasn't worked so far so we're just gonna have to fence them in fence them out I should say <laughs> so anyway I'm not gonna take up any more of your time I had a really really nice time this evening and I hope that you did too I really do I I, I feel I feel a lot better than I did um, beforehand so thank you and thank you for spending time with me this evening definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already also hit that notification bell so you know when we have a new video coming out and you can find us on just on all the social medias. We're on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all of our contact information is listed right down below. That'd be our email address and our post office box. If you have any questions or anything about anything we talked about today, just shoot me an email, okay? So thank you again, everybody. You have a fantastic week. Remember to always stay positive and I'll see you next time, all right? Ciao, everybody. <laughs> oh, Oscar. Thank you.